Hello Unlimited Friends, it's Zara. Day 19. The future can be better than the past. It always can. And when you hear that little voice that says, this can't happen, and how are you going to change this? Remind yourself, the future can be better than the past. But here's the key, you see. What goes wrong with a lot of people is that they say the future can be better than the past, but then they start asking how. And that's not your job. And then they ask for evidence. How is it going to happen? Who's going to help me? How can I find a way? How can I find a way to make the future better? And I'm here to tell you, it's not about making anything happen. Because a much easier way of doing things is to let the universe make things happen. Because the power that the universe has is way more than our power. Think about it. Besides, if you start figuring out how to make something happen, you are in that period of time, you are actually in step one Whereas what you really want to do is be in step three, which is receiving. Because how, when you say, how can I do this? You're asking. And asking is step one. Asking is not step three, which is allowing. Allowing means, I'm going to say, the future can be better than the past. And I don't have to figure out how. I just have to believe that my future can be better than the past. That's all I got to do. I only need to focus on my beliefs. That's it. And I need to let go of everything else and let the universe look after it. I want to find a job. I don't have work. I want to find a job. How am I going to go about it? Where is it going to come from? Who is going to hire me? not your job. You set forth the desire and the universe has it. What's your job? To let it go. You don't need to figure out how. how. What you do need to do is to wait for the impulse. The impulse to act. The impulse that comes as your guidance that says, pick up the phone and pick it up right now and call this person. Or an impulse that says, go here. Why? Well, maybe you need baby food. I don't know why. But just go. Because when you do that, maybe someone else is going to be there. Maybe there's a book you're going to see. Maybe there's a newspaper headline that you need to see. There is always something in it for you. Or maybe you're going to avoid something. You know, the universe will remove you from the vicinity of things that you should not see. For example, if somebody is right at the top of the emotional scale, let me get my, grab my favorite bookmark. If somebody is over here high on the emotional scale, they love the world. And, you know, if something's going to happen, maybe something, an accident's going to happen. Well, guess what? They're going to make their way from that area a minute before, sometimes a second before. A second or a few seconds can make the difference between your being there and being involved in a negative event and your escaping a negative event. And all of that happens because the universe is guiding us either towards something or away from something that is not good for us. You just have to trust your impulses. And the most important thing about that is over a period of time, we stop trusting our guidance because we start using our minds, our logic. And every time our impulse says, go talk to this person, our logical mind says, I don't know them. How can I go just walk up to someone and talk to them? So we bring our logic into the picture. And when we do that, we lose that moment. 
And with time, if you keep doing that and you keep doing that and you keep doing that, then what happens is you dull that instinct. That muscle doesn't work as well as it would if you had gone with it. It's like any other thing. Um, we have, we make these pathways, you know, it's like when you travel, um, let me rephrase, when you're going into a jungle and there's no path, the first time that you go there, because you know that there's something wonderful waiting for you there, or you just want to enjoy being in the silence, you have to beat down the brush in order to make a path. But if you kept traveling that path every day, then that path would soon enough, it would be a really well-established road almost, right? That's how dirt roads are created, isn't it? People just travel them all the time. So you would create a strong pathway which would get you where you want to go faster. And the same thing happens in our minds. The, the path that we travel on a daily basis becomes a firm path, the easier path to take. And that's why in the beginning when we start learning law of attraction and we want to be positive, basically we're creating a new path in a jungle where the path does not exist. So in the beginning, it takes a little bit of work. And just like that, it takes a little bit of work to start listening to your guidance and following your gut feel because for a lot of us, we are not used to doing it until we start focusing there and we start asking for guidance. And when we do that, the guidance always comes and will lead us to things that are better. Sometimes you will be led to a place that you didn't expect to go to. Sometimes it'll be a rough path. It won't always necessarily be an easy path, but it will always be the path of least resistance. Means, what that means is all the other paths are way worse. So when something happens in your life and you look at it and you say, ah, I didn't ask for this, why me? Remind yourself that that is the path of least resistance because all the other paths have a lot more resistance, a lot more unpalatable bad stuff on them. And that's why the universe is not taking you there. This is the only path available. That's what it means to be on the path of least resistance. It doesn't mean a rosy path. It doesn't mean a smooth road. What it does mean is this is the easiest path given all the others at the moment. The path that has the least amount of blockages and negative beliefs on it. So just keep going because you know that the universe is always and always and always going to lead you to things that are good for you. Don't question it. Don't say, oh, this can't be the universe leading me because it's not leading me to where I want to go. Because really, you don't know that. Sometimes the universe takes you a curvy way, roundabout, roundabout to what you want. Because there is no straight path to what you want. And for all these reasons that I just talked about, the future can be better than the past. I love you all. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.